effort. Maximum effort! Okay, Deadpool. Hey, hi, hello. It is I. I'm here with a magical person. I'm magical. The magic was inside you all along. Where? I don't know, in your heart or something? <laughs> maybe, maybe it's in your small intestine? I thought it was my spleen. <laughs> Hello, I, I am Charlie Mac. Yes. She sometimes mentions me. Yes, because you're my YouTube friend. I mean, you're also my real friend, but you also do YouTube. No, we're just YouTube friends. Wow. We don't okay. actually like each other. <laughs> wow, okay, that's the tea, sis. <laughs> The tea. <laughs> the tea is YouTubers hate each other. Except maybe they don't. It depends. I have no idea. Individual people are different. I don't know Funny drama. how that works. Drama does exist in the real world and in the digital world. But we're not here to talk about drama. We're here to play a game. The game is 1 to 10. A game that I learned about from watching Scarf Demon. Put the thing on the thing. You can see her do the thing. She's a cool person. I met her at VidCon. VidCon London. She is cool bean. You are awkward, Bean. Yeah! I am. I'm talking to a camera for fun. Like, who does that? <laughs> Me. <laughs> Pretty much. A lot of people. <laughs> YouTube is full of the awkward beans, and then all the popular kids took it over with their, like, vlogs and fashion advice and, Ugh. Pr and prank channels, and I'm like, I just want to- We don't talk about those people. We just, I just want to be awkward on the internet. I mean, I'm gonna be awkward in real life anyway. I was gonna say, you're already awkward. Yeah, but this way I can entertain people with my awkwardness instead of just cringing about it late at night when I'm thinking over all of my past mistakes. You wanna explain the game? Okay, we're playing 1 <laughs> to 10. So basically, I have a sheet of paper. I wrote down the numbers 1 to 10. We're going to pick names, and I'm going to randomly assign names to the numbers, and then I'm going. we're going to list activities. I'm gonna go first, I'll be in charge of the numbers first, because I know how this works better than Charlie does. Okay. I'm going and you to say, can't, you're not gonna show me no, things? No, nope, I hide it, basically. I'm going to like say an activity, and Charlie's going to say a number, and that activity goes the name that's on that number, and then we're gonna go through them all, and, see, and Charlie's gonna say whether she wants to do that thing with that person or not. And then we're gonna use however many she says yes to, to predict her future. So, yeah. My future? <laughs> uh, when other people play this game, they sometimes do like real people, or like, Significant or like friends that they know in real life. We can we're do fake people or animals, creatures. We're gonna do fictional beings. Fake. Fictional nouns. It could also be places. Could, places. Yeah. Could be like, oh, what, can I marry that place? Or you could. Vi well, you're not gonna know if it's gonna be a place, but you could also visit that place. Like visit a person, visit a place, visit a. Can I marry Fairytopia? <laughs> <laughs> would you just all of it? <laughs> the real question is, would you want to marry Topia? <laughs> I don't know why this is what my first thought was. I still have Barbie on the brain from the last video we did. Okay, so Charlie's picked some names, I have picked some names. I'm going to say activities, and Charlie's going to say a number between 1 and 10. 11 doesn't count as a number in this system, Charlie. Dang it! I know. Okay, so who on this list would you want to rob a bank with? Why did I think 17 at first? <laughs> um, 4. <laughs> that, that would work. Who would you want to spend a day on the beach with? Six. Who or what would you want to climb Mount Everest with? Are you writing these down? Yes. Okay. Um, three. That'd be okay. I'm just, I had a thought and I don't know if it's gonna be that person. I'm just like, that'd be interesting because that wouldn't happen. That wouldn't work. A lot of these would be very interesting. Who would you want to overthrow a dictatorship with? I mean, I had an initial thought, but I have to say a number. Um, ten. Okay. Let's do, like, another- yeah, an, an easy one. Okay. Who would you want to go on a shopping spree with? Seven. Uh, okay! <laughs> you can- Sure! <laughs> Why not? <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Yeah, it- it- it will be something. <laughs> Um, da, 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 da. Just remnants from the last game we played. Who would you want to marry? One. <laughs> See, now I'm just thinking of all like travel based ones, but I want to like mix them up a little bit. Who would you fight crime with? Um, two. You, you can try, but. <laughs> not sure how that'll work out, but okay. <laughs> I'm not even seeing what these things are, but I'm just imagining the possibilities here. <laughs> it's great. Who would you start a band with? 
Five, eight, or nine. Nine. I was hoping you'd pick eight, but that's fine. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> okay, I, again, I'm just kind of like tying this back to the last game. Who would you murder? Eight. Okay, so now for the last one, I have to give you one good and one bad. Okay. So, good. Would you go to Disney World with this person, or would you be arrested with this person? Well, I'd rather not be arrested, so let's go to Disney World. Okay, that could be a fun time. <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna say these ones, and Charlie's gonna say whether she would actually want to do these or not. So, Charlie, would you marry Mrs. Incredible? Keep in mind that she is already married, and you would either have to be Polly with Mr. Incredible, or be a homewrecker. <laughs> I don't want to think about that. The answer is just yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I love Mrs. Incredible. Fine. Okay. Listen, I am ginger, but I also like gingers. And you're valid. You're also a homewrecker now. <laughs> or we could just work it out. I mean, I'm not really into Mr. Incredible, but we could work things out. It uh -huh. could be Polly. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not Polly. I just want Mrs. Incredible. Because she's incredible. Would you fight crime with the sorting hat? <laughs> I want to say yes. <laughs> Do you actually want to, though? With... Wait, I gotta think about how that would work. Yeah. How would I fight crime with the sorting hat? Wait, wait, yes. Because then I can pull the sword of Gryffindor out of it. Because I'm a uh, Gryffindor. Right. Yes. Yeah. I would fight crime with the sorting hat. Because I could just be like, bam, thanks, buddy. And then I just kind of throw him to the side. <laughs> you wouldn't at least wear him, have him be part of your... <laughs> I mean, I could wear him. That's what got your Gryffindor. Like, it was Gryffindor's hat. That's why it works. See? Because magic. I have a magic talking cat. He can talk smack while I, like, fight. Wow. See? I can turn these things into good things. Yeah, Just sure. watch me. I mean, a lot of these are pretty good, so, like, <laughs> it's fine. Anyway, so, would you, um, climb Mount Everest with Scooby-Doo? I'm pretty sure he has climbed Mount Everest. Canonically. That wasn't enough. But that... would you want to A, climb Mount Everest, and B, have Scooby-Doo with you the whole time? I mean, if I was to, to climb Mount Everest, I would want Scooby-Doo with me. Let's be honest. So that's a yes. He's a good buddy. He's a good boy. He's pretty loyal to his friends, so I, I feel like I would, not... feel, I would feel protected and safe. We're not, we're not sorting Mr. <laughs> Mr. If we were sorting him, he'd be Slytherin, but, um... <laughs> Fair. Okay. But I, I feel safe and protected with Scooby-Doo on this Everest trip. I don't think he's gonna protect you, but you can try. <laughs> you can convince him for a Scooby snack. Exactly! I would give a ton of Scooby- You wouldn't be able to have enough food for yourself then. Exactly. You die! It's fine. No! <laughs> Dying isn't fine. And, okay, moving on. Would you rob a bank with Aladdin? Yes! I'm just gonna keep saying- am I gonna keep saying yes to all these things? Apparently you're just like- Maybe. You're just fine with whatever. Well, I would want- if you want anyone to rob a bank with you, you want Aladdin. Because he's a thief. And he's always one step ahead of the lawman. One jump! Yeah. Ahead of the jump jump. <laughs> <laughs> yes, those are the lyrics. <laughs> one jump, and that's my jump. <laughs> this is a reference to a thing. Okay. Thing in the vlogs, they used to say these things. Okay. Speaking of other things, five, would you go to Disney World with Baymax? Yes! <gasps> I was hoping that was what's gonna happen. See, I was thinking Baymax was gonna be who I climbed Mount Everest with, and I was just like, that's not gonna work, man. <laughs> Cause he can't walk that, he can't climb. I, I mean- I cannot climb. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe it's after Hero gives him the, like, jetpack and handsome thing, so then it just I mean, is a really quick trip. Yeah. But I was just like, I was afraid of that would happen. No, I was like, no, no. Then, you, then you won't die of like hypothermia or anything because he can heat up for you. That would have been great. But unfortunately, unfortunately, you're just going to Disney World with Baymax, you know. I would love it. We would have so much fun together. I would just hug him constantly. <laughs> I love Baymax. <laughs> okay, would you have a beach day with Pearl? My wife? Yes. yes. And this is the, just the phrasing of the game. Would you go on a shopping spree with the mystery shack? I knew that was gonna happen! Is question it, is, is it the building? Is it the people in the building? Or am I just shopping at the building? Like, 
Am I just- I think it's not the people in the building. Okay. It's definitely not that. So it's a matter of are you doing a shopping spree at the Mr. Shack or is the, or is the Shack following you around some other- Either way, I don't see business. a problem here. Because I, I, I definitely think that Grunkle Sam would get me to buy stuff at the Shack. No matter what, that would happen. But also, I'm fine with the building following me around. <laughs> is that a problem? Are we- am I supposed to say no to these things? Because honestly- <laughs> I mean, saying no to one of them at some point might be helpful, but it's fine. I'm, you know, you're probably gonna get me sometime, but I <sighs> kind of want to go shopping with the mystery. Anyway, eight. Would you kill Big Time Rush? <laughs> the band? Would you- It's already dead! <laughs> but would you kill them? Like, you'd have to kill the band or the members, or would you kill them? Well, let's remember, it's the fictional people and not, like, the real people, so I feel less <laughs> It's, it's still a, murder, it's Charlie. Dead. I don't know. It is dead, though. Like, <laughs> but the people in the we, band aren't dead. But am I killing the people or am I killing the show? It's just killing Big Time Rush. I had the band in mind when I wrote down the name. So, and I the mean, people in the band. I mean, let's leave them in the early 2010s where they belong, because it's twenty. Charlie, will you kill them or not? Yes or no? Sure. I want to see how many I can say yes to. <laughs> The maximum is 10, Charlie. There are 10 options. I want to say yes to 11. That's not possible, Charlie. Okay. So, would you start a band with Reptar? Yes! <laughs> That'd be fun. Would it be like a... It, it could be like a really crazy rock band. And like, he's just like roaring like... <laughs> sure. <laughs> and he I tries don't... to play guitar and it doesn't work because his arms are too small. It just won't work out. Your band's going to fail. No, he's just going to be like the roaring music in the background. And I'm just like, yeah! <laughs> Last one. This is a bad idea. Would you overthrow a dictatorship with the TARDIS? I mean, that's so easy, yes. Yeah. Of course I would! How else do you overthrow a dictatorship? With a, a machine that goes through time and space. With Reptar. <laughs> with, with all of the people and the mystery <laughs> Anyway, so you said yes to all of them, so that means that number 10 is true. You're going to overthrow a dictatorship yes! with the TARDIS. <laughs> I mean, I think the, the doctor does that in like most episodes. So. Exactly. That means Charlie's a doctor now. But you're I'm finally, coming for your brand. You're finally 13. Ginger. <laughs> it took you a while. The, doc the doctor is finally ginger, guys. Look at him. Look at him go. I would have the craziest doctor outfit. <laughs> you just are the craziest. That's true. This is like my cartoon character outfit. It's this gay. Is, it's very gay. Charlie Actually, I'm not wearing my gloves because I usually wear my skeleton fingerless gloves with this too. Because my hands get very cold when I'm typing. Charlie is always cold. <laughs> and I don't get cold that easily. And yet you're the one who likes Elsa. So. And you're also the one wearing a beanie right now. Because my hair is a mess. Yeah. I'm cold and a I keep my not, hair short. A beanie's not going to affect how cold my hands are. Unless I like stick my hands in my hands yes, all like, day. Yes, you, but like most of your heat escapes from your head. So like, wear a hat. Too bad. Anyway, so yeah, because Charlie said yes to everything, because Charlie just is fine with down to do whatever, apparently. I am down. Okay. Listen, we didn't have anything dirty on there. Yeah, because I'm not going to go to everything dirty. I'm ace. I don't do sex jokes. No, I'm kidding. I make all the sex jokes. It... You make so many sex jokes. It's great. I'm asexual, by the way. I don't think I've ever officially said that on the camera. Have you not? I don't think I have. <gasps> this is your coming up video. Oh my god. Hi. I don't know. Bye. Ace. Bye. <laughs>